Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 58. Today we're continuing our training inside of the Consumer Applet, and we're going to focus today on building a custom navigation bar for our new agent site. So props to Mike McPherson and his channel, KW Tech with Mike. Totally watched his video and decided to rip it off and duplicate it, share it with all of you guys. So thank you, Mike, for teaching me that tool. Essentially, when we come to our agent site, we have this navigation bar at the top. We're going to make some changes to this bar. Essentially, what I would like to see is not only these three items about me, search properties and blog, but I'd like to move the mortgage calculator and the home valuation tool out of this more sub menu and into our top menu. We're going to go ahead and leave the other items inside the drop down, but we want to move those two out. So basically going to show you how we can create that custom menu bar at the top of our agent site. So the first thing that we need to do is actually get the names of all of the pages we want and the links that are associated with those and keep those in sort of a you know Word document, a notepad, a Google Doc, somewhere along those lines. So you can do it one of two ways. You can click on the actual page and then copy the link, or you can right click and then choose to copy the link address and then paste it that way. So here is our Word document. And you can see I've already gone through <clears throat> and chosen each one of the pages and then the associated link for each one of those pages I have pasted in. So that even includes leave a review. Right, so all of the pages that are currently on my agent site, I have the name of the page and the URL. From there, we're gonna go back into command. We're gonna go into the consumer applet. We're gonna choose to make edits to our website, bring up that bright spot editor. And we're gonna dive into a new navigation place that we have not been in yet in the challenge. And that's this menu at the very top left hand corner looks sort of like a hamburger. We call it the hamburger menu where I'm from. Uh, and we're going to go down to organization site. From there, we are going to scroll down inside of this menu until we get to navigation provider. Now it should look like this inherited org site navigation provider. And then you'll have some links. You may not have all of these links. If you haven't been following along, if you haven't added these custom pages with me as we've been doing that, but you should still have some sort of inherited org site navigation provider. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this drop down and we're going to switch to custom org site navigation provider. And then inside of the navigation drop down, we're going to click there and choose to create new. From here, we're going to go ahead and name this navigation bar. So in this point, I'm just going to say this is uh, KW command. 66 day challenge. You do not need to name yours to this. You can just name it nav bar or something simple like that. But I'm just putting this here so I'll know that that's the one I created for this video. Next up, we've got the items that we want to add to the navigation bar. So we're going to click on the add button. We're going to choose a simple navigation item. And then from there, we need to do three things. First, we need to put in the text of the actual item. So the first page that we had was about me. I'm just going to change that to about Marty. And then I'm going to come down to the link section and I need to change this internal to external. And then as we scroll down, you're going to see there's a URL button at the very bottom. This is where we're going to go to our document. We're going to find that link for the about me page. We're going to copy that link. We're going to come back into our editor and we're gonna paste that in. Now all I have to do is click on publish and the first one has been added. So we'll do that one more time. So we'll click on add, simple navigation item. We're gonna put in the text. So the next one was search properties. And we're gonna come down to link, change internal to external, and then go down to the bottom of that where it says URL and we're going to copy and paste the URL for search properties. Now we're going to do this for each one of the navigation buttons that we want at the top of our page. So I'm going to publish so I have the second one. And then you can see when we are talking about what I want my navigation bar to look like, I want about me, 
search properties, and then blog. And then I'm gonna have mortgage calculator and the home valuation tool to also show up. So I'm gonna go through those steps that we just did for about me and search properties three more times. So I'm gonna do the blog, the mortgage calculator, and the home valuation tool. I'm gonna to pause the video now so I can do that. And then we'll talk about creating the more submenu where we would have the YKW, learn more about Katie's schools, and then leave a review. So I'll pause now, add those three pages, be right back. All right, so now you can see I've added the three additional simple navigation items. I chose the blog, I chose the home valuation tool, and I made that button called What's My Home Worth? And then I chose the mortgage calculator, and I named that button What Would My Payment Be? Now we need to add the more menu item. So we're gonna click on add one more time. We're gonna do simple navigation item. We're gonna come down to the text and we're gonna to choose to call that more. You could choose menu. You could say, you know, click here for more, whatever you want that button to be called. But we don't have a specific link for this one. So we're just gonna go ahead and choose publish. And then from here, we're gonna come down actually, let's see what we missed. Did we need a link for that item required? No, we didn't need that. All right, so from here, we're gonna choose on sub navigation. And this is where we're gonna choose add navigation link. And we're gonna do the same thing. So the ones that we had underneath there, we had three more pages that we still had left. So we had the YKW. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link right now. So we've got YKW, we'll go back in and choose the text, so it's YKW, and we'll come down, we're gonna change that link from internal to external, and we're gonna put in the URL, and we'll publish that one, and then we can come in, simple navigation item, and this was just navigation text. That's what we needed to change. I apologize. So navigation text, more. I think that's going to solve us. And then sub navigation link. We had YKW. We're going to do another navigation link. This one was learn more about KD schools. And I can go get that actual. We're going to change internal again to external. And we'll come down to the URL, remember, and we need that link, learn more about Katie's schools. And then the last one was the testimonial. So we'll do that one more time, URL, publish. Again, come down to our simple navigation, sub navigation, add one more navigation link. Remember, we don't need to worry about the other three. We're just doing navigation link. And this one was leave a review. And we'll change the internal to external. We're gonna go down to the URL and we're gonna copy and paste that last one. This is also great if you had landing pages on your old site, if you're trying to replicate maybe, you know, a third party site that you've been using and you want to stop paying for it, this is a great way to make your menu bar look very similar to the site that you once had. So from there, we're gonna click on publish. You can now see we've got our five navigation items we want on our top bar. And then if we come into the more, we've got our sub navigation and we've got three more there. So we're gonna click on publish and then we're gonna publish it again one more time. And then I believe from there, if we go to back, and we want to make sure that we, underneath custom org site navigation provider, we actually choose our new nav bar. So we're gonna click on that one so that it's been selected and click on save. And if we did all of that right, we're gonna go back to our agent site. And now you can see we've got our new menu bar across the top. So we've got about Marty, search properties, blog, what's my home worth, what would my payment be, and then more. And if we hover over more, we've got the YKW, learn more about Katie's schools and leave a review. So that's a short, kind of long, kind of complicated. Make sure you pause and go through each one of those steps with me to create the new menu bar. 
Now some things just to be aware of, if you have a smaller monitor, I'm not sure what this is gonna look like with these, all of these different items. Not 100% sure what this would look like on mobile. So you may wanna play with it. I'm guessing these menu item buttons may be a little bit too wordy. So I might in the future shorten those down. Maybe it is just home valuation, mortgage calculator, probably less characters than those two. Uh, but you can play with it. You can determine what you want under each one. Um, you can actually build additional drop downs too. So it might be, you know, that you don't have five different menu items up here. Uh, you could even do like search properties and then have sub menus for search properties in Katy, search properties in Houston, search properties in Spring, search properties in Spr uh, Cyprus, where you could create custom URLs in your search bar, right? And if I go look up Cyprus, that's going to give me a URL. I could make that the link to those drop downs as well. So there's a lot of customization that can continue to happen from here. Again, you don't necessarily need all of these menu items. You can decide what you want and sort of play with it as time goes on. But again, thank you, Mike McPherson, for teaching me how to do that via your video and for allowing me to share it with everybody else. The ability to create your own custom navigation bar on your new KW Agent sites. Guys, as always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.